This has probably happened to you at some point, right? You get an email sent from someone out of the blue, clearly trying to get a hold of your money or your personal information, right? It's phishing. No, that never happens. <laughs> I mean, it's almost <laughs> weekly, isn't it? So those scammers yes. uh, just keep getting more sneaky. Uh, three on your side, Susan Campbell has a look at some of the lengths they are going to to try to get your info and your money. Susan. Good morning, guys. Yeah, this phishing email that's going around now looks a lot like it came from Amazon. A woman in Pine Top received this email. Fortunately, she realized what was happening in the nick of time. I would say call Amazon. Recently, Lee Newsom received an email confirming the purchase of a $1,300 laptop. It looked exactly like an Amazon confirmation. Here's the problem. Lee never bought a laptop and the shipping address wasn't familiar. She feared her Amazon account had been hacked. But at the bottom of this email, there was a phone number that said Amazon fraud line. Well, my husband saw that and called them thinking he was calling Amazon. We were on the phone forever with these people. The people on the other end of the line asked for all kinds of personal information, including credit card numbers. Then they asked for social security numbers. And then I realized right away that that's what they were doing. I mean, there was never an order for a $1,300 computer. It was all to get you to call their fraud line. Amazon says it's aware of spoofed emails like this that attempt to steal personal information. So the retail giant says it's important to check the return address. Genuine emails from Amazon will always come from an address ending with at Amazon.com. You should also look for grammatical errors in the email. And if you have questions, don't click on links within the email. Just go directly to Amazon.com. We were so easily roped into this. It was amazing. And we know about the scams and we're generally careful, but it looked so authentic. The Newsom's immediately canceled their credit card, and now they're carefully monitoring all of their accounts. And everything so far is okay. Thank goodness we realized it when we did. It's also important to keep in mind, Amazon says it's never going to send you an email asking for any kind of personal information, like your bank account information, your credit card information, or answers to common password questions, like your mother's maiden name, or your favorite pet's name.